sitting back. I'm a little casual because I really want this video to be more like we're all sitting around, chit-chatting, catching up. I really miss that style of video. I know most of my videos are more planned, more structured. There has been some planning with this. I took notes, I scribbled. But I just feel like I want, I miss that feeling of we're all hanging out just chit-chatting. And I know that we've never actually done that in real life, but it's kind of the vibe I'm going for. I have my drink of choice. This is not a glass of vodka. That could be an interesting video, the longer it goes on. It's just water. I'm really trying hard to stick with my intake, so. Okay, so I am sitting down here to talk to all of you about my perspective on the upcoming spring slash summer fashion trends in women's fashion for 2021. Now, I am not a fashion blogger or fashion influencer. I know I talk about clothing, but I hesitate to refer to those videos as fashion. If you notice in my favorites videos, when I break it down, I never in the description box list them as fashion favorites. I sometimes do in the thumbnail because it takes up less space, but I refer to clothing as clothing and accessories as accessories because I consider myself the everyday person. I am a real person. I go to the grocery store. I hang out at my local Walmart. I walk my dog. I am not attending fancy parties, even before 2020, very rarely do I go anywhere that would require even a pair of pumps to be worn. It just, it's such a rare occurrence. Most of the time I'm just doing what most people are doing when they're at home, I guess, which, you know, before I was a YouTuber, I was 100% a housewife, so I'd be volunteering at the kids' school, doing other volunteer activities, cleaning my house. My point is, you will not be seeing me in couture anytime soon. Nothing against it, it just doesn't fit into my lifestyle. So I thought it would be fun to look at the this year's fashion trends from the perspective of someone who doesn't have anywhere interesting to go and how they translate into my everyday life. I looked at a few sources to figure out what those trends were. Um, Elle Magazine had a whole article. Harper's Bazaar had an article. Who, What, Where had something. I got a lot out of a, another article from Trendspotter. And just my general, just seeing what's coming up in stores. So in zero order at all, this will be all over the place. Let us begin. No, wait, one more thing. Um, the items I do find that I do actually recommend, I will put down in the description box in the order in which we talk about them here. Okay, world's longest intro, so to speak. Let's start with the first thing on the list, which are trench coats. Apparently trench coats are a thing, not just as a coat, but more like a trench dress and a shirt dress. And I'm, I'm good with it. I love a good trench coat. I finally picked one up, I think in this year's anniversary sale. No, I got one before that. That's actually I like better from Amazon, part of their drop collection. But if you don't know about Amazon, the drop, it's a in-house brand, a lot of influencers, like guest influencer style pieces. And then they have that drop in for a short time and then leave. But then they have staples. They're a little more fashion forward and fun. And I got a great deal on a trench coat there. And it's just a classic trench coat. There's nothing funky about it. I like the trend. Um, it also combines another trend that's big for 2021, which is khaki, not just khaki pants, like you're working at Target. Um, never wear khaki pants and a red shirt when you're shopping at Target, unless you wanna help people find stuff in the store. My husband has learned that the hard way. Yes, khaki pants, but khaki tops, khaki suit separates, full khaki sets of things, the color khaki, often paired with fun bright colors. I think that's totally wearable. I can see like someone like me, I would love a khaki, crisp, like cotton khaki oversized blazer, another trend, worn over a t-shirt and some skinny jeans. Like, that's a very wearable thing. Anyway, back to the trench coats. Rainy season's coming up. If you can combine a trench coat with a raincoat, I see no reason why you can't wear it. And it can also be worn as a dressier coat if that occasion ever arises. So I think it's a great trend. The next on the list was the oversized button down, which can also be seen as the shacket trend. And I admit, I, I didn't do it on purpose. I bought an oversized flannel at Walmart and got so excited in the uh, try-on because when I put it on, I'm like, oh look, it has pockets on the side. 
I just thought it was a cool new feature that they're showing on button down shirts, but no, I've been told it's a shirt and a jacket married into a shacket. First of all, that word is, every time I hear or say that word, I keep thinking of the word shart, which in G rated is poop and fart. So that's very mature me, but that's what's stuck in my head. I like an oversized shirt, especially an oversized flannel. I was in college in the 90s, grunge was a thing. Those are some really fun years. So I'm cool with it, I'm fine. It's very wearable, an oversized shirt, as long as it's not like Dorit's shirt from The Real Housewives where she wore it like a dress and she looked ridiculous. I think an oversized button down shirt, especially with skinny jeans or leggings is very wearable. It's like the next step out of lounge wear. It's a little more dressed up, but you're still comfy. I think that's great. It's very wearable. It's a trend I can see translating into real into the real world. Another trend is florals, bigger and brighter. Not your like little tiny Laura Ashley prints. Remember those? Although I think that's coming back. But big, bold, fun florals. I just picked up a top recently that has lots of color on a dark background, a lot of like florally type stuff. It's a modern take. I don't think florals are ever gonna go away, especially for spring, groundbreaking. But I think it's very wearable and it's fun to see in, not just in the typical kind of top or blouse, but in skirts, in accessories, flower earrings, very wearable, very fun. Another trend I'm seeing is boldly patterned coats. I love the idea of this trend. I live somewhere where coats are not always wearable. Once spring actually starts, we're already into 90, 80, 90 degree weather. So coats in South Texas don't work. But if you live anywhere else north of me, I think they're really cool. I think they're great, again, to layer and it's a statement piece. It's an instant outfit. And one of the best, most overlooked resources or places to get those beautiful, embroidered, colorful, unique coats is Chico's. Go check them out. Every season they have some amazing pieces. All right, let's talk about some trends that I'm not on board with. Big, bold shoulders, like the 90s, well, 80s shoulder pads, like really exaggerated, big, bold shoulders. That's a no, no, with some mitigating factors. A little bit of a structured shoulder, a little bit. A little bit of a shoulder pad, I think is, is great. I think it's kind of fun. On me, not so much. I already have pretty broad shoulders. I look like a linebacker. So it doesn't work for me, but if you have, you know, like kind of like sloping shoulders, that's been a feature of yours that you've been very self-conscious about. This is a great trend for you. Um, if you just run narrow, it's fine. When you pair it with another trend, like the big oversized blazers, those are okay. I just, any extreme, I'm not a huge fan of. And I think the big, really oversized shoulder pads in blazers and tops especially can be very overpowering and it almost looks costumey. And speaking of costumey, this next trend I'm seeing is making me crazy. It's this whole grand millennial thing. I can't, I just, I can't. I didn't even love it that much when it was kind of cool back in the 80s and 90s when Laura Ashley was a thing. Although I did put Laura Ashley wallpaper in my master bathroom in my house in Chicago, and I almost instantly regretted it. But it's just too cutesy, it's too little. Like, I think it's adorable if you are under 10. If you are a grown woman, especially a woman over 40, walk around with a big floral bow in your hair with the flowing locks, and these, they're calling them sleep dresses. What the, what is a sleep dress? Is that not a nightgown? You don't leave the house in a nightgown. And if you're just lounging around your house, get out of your nightgown, at least put on, you know, loungewear. It's just, a, it's a hard pass. It's a no, it kind of blends into this other prairie trend. I did pick up a dress from Amazon thinking, okay, it has flowers, but they're small and really subtle. It is sort of that grand millennial cut, but it's a maxi dress and it skims the body. And I have a picture of it. It's terrible, no, I hate, I put it up on my Instagram just to kind of gauge what y'all thought. I regret taking the tags off it because I can't send it back to Amazon, I don't think. I'm not telling you not to. I'm not telling you not to do any of these things. You wear whatever you want and wear it happily and Wrigley is snorting just off camera. I'm not gonna judge you. I'm just saying for me personally, I think it looks absolutely ridiculous. 
And I love a big bow on a little girl, but on a grown woman, no. And uh, these big oversized floral dresses with all the ruffles, it's like they're little, they wanna play princess, except you sh you're a queen now. Grow up. Okay, two trends we're gonna talk about right now that I am actually wearing. Tie-dye and bright pastels. I know, that seems weird. Okay, obviously I'm okay with the tie-dye thing. Like leopard print, it can get over much. Like there's so many things you can get with tie-dye that you look like you're at a Grateful Dead concert 24 seven. So I would say like pick sparingly, don't overwhelm your closet. You know it's a trend, in a couple of years it will be gone. I personally prefer tie-dye pieces that are only one or two colors, like this is just pink and white. When you have a whole bunch of colors going, it's just a lot. And visually for me, it's just too jarring. This is actually a set, which is still a trend. Um, so there are matching joggers in the same color. I also have this set in um, bright pastel blue in the short sleeve. Those are still available. And that's the other thing, bright pastels. I know it sounds like an oxymoron. This is a bright pink pastel. I put in some pictures of some other bright pastels. I love this trend. I think it's really fun. I love pastels. I personally feel the more traditional pale pastels make me look really washed out. I think people who have more yellow tone complexions will look a little sickly and really in the baby colors, but these bolder pastels and pinks and blues and yellows and purples and mint greens, these bright springtime ones, I think are flattering on so many more skin tones and I am here for it. I think it's fabulous and I hope this trend sticks around for quite a while. Another trend that's big, belts. Belts are back, belted waists are back. I am so excited about this. It is the thinnest part of my body and you can't see it, but I think it's great. I think it's an accessory that we've, many of us have invested quite a bit of money in some belts. I have to say my Valentine's gift that as of filming this, it hasn't arrived yet, is a belt. I have years too late. <laughs> um, finally, decided to go ahead and get a luxury designer brand belt. And it took me a while. At first I thought this is a trend and it's just gonna go away. And it kind of faded, but then the whole belt thing is back. And I figure who else but Gold Girl should have a belt with two Gs on it. So yes, I did order, like, well I had Michael order it for me, but I sent him a link to exactly what I wanted. I requested a Gucci belt for Valentine's Day and I will show it to y'all when I actually have it in hand, but I went with a like a nude belt because I figure that will go with everything and I can wear it um, with jeans, like wear it a little higher up on dresses. So hopefully it works out and I'll have it to show it to you in a little bit, but um, I'm excited for the belt thing. I I just think it works on so many silhouettes and it's very feminine in a way, it emphasizes our shape. And I hope it's a trend that sticks around for a very long time and not just because I just spent a ridiculous amount of money on a belt. A couple more trends I wanna talk about before I say goodbye. A big color pairing for this season is black and white together. For instance, this black sweater with big white polka dots, this is actually again from Chico's, is also very 80s, it reminds me very much of the 80s, early 90s, and you know, you can see it in so many things, in cardigans, uh, black top, white pants, or vice versa, just that black and white combo. I like it, I have a love-hate relationship with this trend. It's not the first time we've seen it, like I just said. I find it hard to figure out what shoes to wear with a black and white outfit. I know that sounds crazy, you should wear black shoes but it seems almost too matchy-matchy. So the part I like about this trend is that this is the time to find a way to put a pop of color into the outfit. Unless you like the monochromatic look, go for it. But I personally think the black and white trend is the perfect time to pull out that random pair of hot pink shoes you have and don't know what, to, what outfit to wear it with. This is the outfit to wear it with. Or a blue pair of shoes, or a hot pink belt, or a yellow scarf, just, some kind of accessory in a bright color that you've always enjoyed but never knew what to pair it with, a black and white outfit is absolutely perfect. And it's a neat trend because it can go from loungewear to 
conservative, typical, more traditional work clothes. I mean, you can see it across the board. It fits in in all kinds of environments. I think it's a very wearable trend. Again, for me, it's the shoes. But again, but like I just said, I'm contradicting myself. That's when you bring in the fun pop of color. And then the last trend that I am personally excited for, I wasn't aware it was a trend because I have been wearing this for forever. It's kind of a uniform in Texas, is a dressy top with a pair of jeans. That's sort of my go-to going out outfit. Throw on a cute pair of pumps or some other kind of fun shoe. I mean, that's what I've been, so I guess, am I ahead of the curve? Am I a trendsetter? No, but they're, I guess, going out of their way to highlight this new trend and I'm all for it. I just, this for me, I love blouses. Again, I this is not sponsored, but I do have a ridiculous amount of blouses from Chico's. They have really fun blouses, especially lately. That lipstick print blouse that I got, there's the um, animal, bright colored animal print one. Again, two trends in one. Loving that one. They just have fun stuff and they're always having sales. Um, Loft has a lot of them and Taylor has a lot of them. Halogen brand at Nordstrom is another great source for fun blouses and jeans. They don't have to be skinny jeans. I prefer skinny jeans. I just feel like they make me look leaner, but you can wear them with boot cut jeans. Love the itty bitty boot cut. It's very flattering from Wit and Wisdom. Another big trend is big oversized denim, which I don't love. Like I don't love the saggy butt, but you also are seeing wide leg pants, wide leg jeans, which I think would look fabulous with a dressy top and some fun booties. So there's options. I, I wanna end on a high note. I think this is a great trend. I didn't even really think of it as a trend. Like I said, I, this has my, been my go-to evening uniform basically my entire adult life. So I'm just glad I'm finally on trend. I would love to hear from y'all. Which of these trends are you excited about? Is there one I haven't mentioned that you're really looking forward to wearing? Do you have some of this from when it was trendy back in the day and now that it's coming back, are you gonna pull it out? I, which I think is kind of fun because it's, it's vintage now. Let me know your thoughts below, or do you just, you know, go with the flow, wear what you want, which I think is absolutely fabulous as well. I hope you had fun with this. It was really just kind of like a free flow, just giving you my thoughts on what's going on in the world of fashion. And it was, to me, this was a little bit of fun, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. Again, thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.